Hi, I'm Sean Bailing with Loveland Magazine, and here today we are interviewing uh, Margaret Ranali of Lovebird. Hello, Sean. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having us. So, first off, I'd just like to ask, what kind of food does uh, Lovebird specialize in? Well, um, Lovebird is, is uh, in a great part inspired by my uh, two and a half years I lived in Charleston. I moved back here in 2019, and so just fell in love with the uh, uh, sort of the elevated... Uh, um, uh, southern food? Yeah, preparation of, of southern food, and it's just it's so comforting, and I think during these, like, post-pandemic times, I wanted to really bring something that was universally sort of um, liked and, and uh, comfort food. So we're focused on fried chicken and biscuits and uh, shrimp and grits and meatloaf and scalloped potatoes and other assortments, yeah. Nice. So uh, are you current, are you open currently? We are. Currently we're open uh, Wednesday through Sunday evenings. Um, uh, Sunday brunch, Saturday and Sunday brunch, um, hopefully within the next few weeks. So we'll be featuring like uh, uh, biscuits and sausage gravy and chicken and waffles and bre breakfast biscuits with uh, country ham and uh, fried eggs and, and things like that. Cool. So you're open a lot in the evenings, you said? Right. Right now, just Wednesday through Sunday evenings. Uh, but we hope to be shortly be open seven nights a week and also Saturday and Sunday brunch. Awesome. So would you mind telling us more about your, your culinary experience and your background and what led you to this point? Well, um, I, I'm not a culinarian. I'm not a chef. Um, I've been blessed throughout my career to be able to work with some very talented people. Um, I do bring my point of view in as far as the concept, but then I, I hire talent, like Michael Eddington, who is our chef here today. Um, and uh, these are his dishes that he's provided for us. Um, so, I'm, uh, my background is more in uh, multi-unit management, uh, concept development, uh, you know, different brands for different companies I've worked on, financial turnarounds of multi-unit management, and then I had my first restaurant in 2011, Anateca Amelia, and then, uh, and now Lovebird. Nice. Do you mind telling us more about the dishes we have here? Certainly. Uh, well, um, of course, our, our uh, focus item is our fried chicken and buttermilk, fry, uh, buttermilk biscuit, a little bit of coleslaw. Um, here we have our shrimp and grits in a red-eye gravy. It's a Weissenberger cheesy grits uh, and a poached egg on top. A little uh, grapefruit um, tomatoes, or grape tomatoes. And then uh, I love these, our uh, green beans with country uh, bacon. We have some corn fritters with some um, uh, uh, knockback sauce. And then uh, potato salad, which is perfect for your picnic. So fried chicken and potato salad and green beans. You can, you can part, you know, put it in your canoe and take it down the river if you like, <laughs> or on your bike. Is that why you chose fried chicken as a restaurant concept? Yeah, uh, um, it was very, very, very difficult for me to close Anateca Amelia, but the level of dining that we were doing required a 100% culinary school trained staff to pull off farm to table, um, a four star. Um, restaurants, um, rustic northern Italian. It just became impossible to pool that kind of talent um, during COVID and then post COVID. So I really wanted to do something that A, uh, would be a little simpler, um, and uh, but also travels well, where fine dining doesn't travel that well. You know, fried chicken and biscuits, uh, fritters, potato salad, collard greens, those all travel really well, whether you're we're picking up DoorDash delivery or picking up a bucket for a picnic here in Loveland. So that was a, a major motivator. So you mentioned something about how your time in Charleston and how that kind of led you to doing fried chicken. Do you want to talk more about that? Uh, certainly. I moved down to Charleston in um, early 2017 for a three concept project uh, to take 8,000 square feet of uh, new space and divide it into two restaurants and a uh, champagne bar. So if you're in uh, Charleston and Upper King Street, um, you can check out Bourbon and Bubbles or Maisu or First Place. Those are all the concepts that I helped develop. And by time down, they're just really, I mean, I had moved away from Cincinnati. You know, I was, I was alone living down there, didn't know many people. And, you know, Southern food is so, it, you know, comforting. And I just got exposed to, you know, authentic Southern fried chicken and handmade biscuits and 
you know, they take extra time in all their sides also, you know. Green beans are, are jazzed up with, you know, country bacon and um, so I, I really just got inspired that I thought that would be something that is close to my heart and, and is great memories for me, but also something that transports well um, and to promote our carryout business and picnics, you know, buckets of chicken and, and things like that. So it kind of worked out that it, it, not only I was inspired by Southern food, but it also does travel well and is, is great for picnics and for catering events. So thank you very much for agreeing to thank an interview. Thank you, Sean. Glad to meet you. Glad to meet you too.